Previously on Life is Strange, our story begins with the sighting of Max in the midst of a storm, unable to remember how she got there. She desperately wants to get out of this situation and spots a lighthouse, thinking it's a safe haven. When she reaches the summit, she witnesses a massive tornado disaster approaching. The lighthouse collapses in the fierce winds and starts falling on Max. Just as it's about to hit her, Max suddenly wakes up in her classroom. She finds the dream she had extremely realistic. Max is a talented photographer but isn't satisfied with her pictures. Additionally, she can't answer her teacher's questions in class and feels down. After the class ends, she decides to wash her face to snap out of it. As she heads to the bathroom, she notices a beautiful butterfly coming in through the window. Max sees it as a perfect opportunity to take its picture. Suddenly, the door swings open and Nathan Prescott enters. Nathan seems incredibly agitated for no apparent reason and is trying to console himself. A girl enters the bathroom and Nathan and the girl start arguing. At this moment, Nathan is under the influence of drugs. The girl asks Nathan for money and threatens to reveal his drug use to everyone. Nathan loses his temper, pulls out a gun, and accidentally shoots the girl. Just then, Max wakes up again. She feels like she glimpsed a fragment from the future and believes she's gone mad. Max thinks she's losing her mind due to this weird situation. She realizes that she has seen and heard what is being discussed in class before. Max has the ability to time travel. She believes that she can save the girl because she can rewind time. She eagerly waits for the class to end. Still, Mr. Jefferson, her teacher, doesn't allow her to leave because she gave incorrect answers to his questions. Max uses her time reversing ability to answer the questions correctly and heads towards the bathroom to save the girl. She pulls the fire alarm. Amidst the ensuing chaos, Max rescues the girl from Nathan. Max is relieved and happy to have succeeded, but she begins to fear her newfound powers. She reports what she saw to the school principal, Mr. Wells, but he doesn't believe her because Nathan's family is influential and Nathan is an exemplary student. Max decides to use her time rewind power to erase the memory of her reporting Nathan's actions to Mr. Wells. She finds her day incredibly surreal and can't make sense of what's happening. She believes that her time rewinding power has a purpose and decides to follow it. And with that, the first part of our story comes to a close. Now, we're moving on to the second part. Enjoy the story. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Obviously can't go there. I've never seen so many missing persons posters for the same person. I could go for a burger now. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. That's crazy. I get why school should be on high alert these days, but cameras in the dorm rooms... It's a slippery slope, and it's up to you and your classmates to stand up here. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. I'm sure this poster has stopped millions of bullies. Posters over posters? 
Somebody really... Warren's waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get back to my dorm. So bizarre to be back here after five years. I thought I could just fit right back in at school. But with all this shit going on, I'm even more an outsider. And who can I confide in besides my journal and my camera? Man, these are supposed to be the best years of my life. This is what it's like to be alone and feel lonely at once. That's so cool that Blackwell is doing a show of Mr. Jefferson's work. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. Come on, Logan, bring it, brah. Yeah! I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. You'd think with all the rain here in Oregon, you wouldn't need to water the lawn. I guess Blackwell has to keep the lawn and plants well manicured to look good on a catalog. Nice, bro. Howdy, Samuel. Well, hello there. Nice, bro. What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? Oh, only she would know that, right? Ah, uh, I guess. It just makes the campus look sad. You can't color over that sunlight. What was she like? She must have been popular. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Awesome. Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery, positive and negative. You knew Rachel? Nice. How can you know a prison? You just stare in awe. No. Now I have to go paint windows. What do you think happened to her? Best not awesome. to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward. Like a clock. See you later, Samuel. And watch your step around here, Max. After I sweep, I paint. Sweet. Oh. Hi, Max. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm by myself for no. eating chiclet. Pretty soon I'll be bonding with Victoria at the Vortex Club. I think you're better off reading chiclet. Good point. Now if you'll excuse me. Sorry. I really have to find out what happens. I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. You look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Nice, Sorry bro. to be a drama queen. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Max, Sweet. get a clue. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Dude. The Prescott Dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> yeah. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. 
so original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Do you understand English? Get lost. Keep walking, hippie. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. There's only one way around this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Awesome. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. See if this works. Nice, I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, no. water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Oh, Samuel, sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Sweet. No. Uh... Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. Oh, dude. And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. Okay. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. 
Victoria is going to be pissed we took so long. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. It feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. <laughs>